Hi, this is Grace Pamela at Samana.com and I wanted to show you how you can turn your raw photos from blah to really something that you can feel more inspired about and uh, get a head start in your editing. And this is in Lightroom. I'm in Lightroom CC. So a lot of times you will get told you should shoot in raw format instead of JPEG, but um, a lot of people are scared to make that jump because when they upload their raw photos it tends to look really, you know, just really flat and boring and no color. A lot of people have a hard time coming from that when they're starting from the very basics. And usually it's a lot more flatter and less colorful than this, but we were outside with really good lighting so um, this is one of more a better shoot than normal when shooting raw. So when you shoot your pictures at a photo shoot, you'll see that the back of your camera, when you first take the picture, while you're shooting in RAW, it looks amazing. It's, that's because it's showing you the JPEG version, and it won't show you the RAW format until you upload it into Lightroom. And one of the things that you need to remember is, um, even though it is a little harder to start from, it is better to shoot in RAW because when you go into here, you'll be able to save, raw format saves all the lighting situations so that it has all the details that you'll need. So let's say here we've got a little blown highlights. Um, if you shot in JPEG, you wouldn't be able to bring some of that detail back. So I wanted to show you a really quick way how to come back from that raw format and that it really speeds your editing along in Lightroom. So the first thing you'll want to do is um, import your raw pictures and then you'll see that it'll take a couple seconds for it to flatten and really kind of fade. And then you'll want to go over into develop after you've chosen the picture you want to edit. Once you're in develop, you can go ahead and over here in your menu, you want to go down to camera calibration. Here, you'll want to choose profile and then you can click down and you can choose whichever one works best. Sometimes a different one works for a different photo. Some of my favorite ones are camera landscape, sometimes camera portrait, camera standard, and a lot of times camera vivid. So I'm going to go ahead and click camera vivid and you'll see it almost looks like it looked like in the back of your camera. So it really gives you a head start in your editing and from here you can go back up to basic and you can play more uh, presets or you can go ahead and just start editing from here. And it really kind of jump starts your editing. So I'm going to go ahead and play with the other ones. And now every one is going to be completely different, every image. So portrait for this one is a little too bright. But you'll see every one is different and you'll soon find a similar one for each photo that you're doing. So I'm going to play with this a little bit more. And again, it's really flat and boring. I'm going to go to Vivid. And now it looks really pretty already. It's a really great way to jumpstart your editing. And here's landscape, vivid. The other ones don't really seem to work too well with this shoot, but they would work very well with other photo shoots. So it all just depends what type of editing style you like. But again, from going to completely raw and boring to that, really it's just a click of a button and you're already off to a great start when you're editing. So I hope that will help some of you. Um, I know personally that was one of the reasons I hated shooting in RAW because my one of my main goals was to just shoot learn how to perfect it in camera which you should anyways but to perfect it in camera just so I didn't have to shoot in RAW <laughs> and soon I was shooting in JPEG but then I was shooting birthday parties and things that you can't really you don't really have a lot of time like when you're just starting to sing happy birthday I can't sit there and figure out all the settings all at once so I kind of went back to shooting raw and that's when I started doing uh, figuring this out and playing with it more and trying to figure out how I could make it look more like a JPEG and pretty quick because we don't want to spend five hours in Lightroom. 
So I hope you learned something and I definitely hope it helps because it's definitely a huge game changer for me when, in, when shooting in RAW. And thank you so much for watching.